Hey, welcome to the Jaw Live channel. We are working our way towards the 100 live guitar practice streams, and today makes day 84. So thank you so much for joining the journey. I greatly appreciate it. I hope uh, if you're a beginner uh, watching my channel, I hope that you know you're benefiting from it and learning something. Um, maybe a light bulb's going off in your head that, you know, maybe watch some other professional uh, guitars and some other you know youtubers that are actually you know know how to shred maybe some things are a little over your head or maybe things aren't making quite uh m making sense so hopefully my videos can actually uh, you know make sense to another beginner and uh, allows a light bulb to go off and allows you to continue being inspired and continue sticking with it and putting in the time each and every day so i know i personally was not putting in the time each and every day that's why i decided to hold myself accountable and start making these uh YouTube videos and, you know, just trying to see, you know, how good can I actually get if I actually do stay consistent and put in 100 hours, 100 days uh, of consistency. So that's all we're doing here. You know, these are, again, live recordings. So these aren't, you know, recorded offline and uh, a bunch of editing done and things like that. It's straight live recording just to show that, you know, I'm a true beginner trying to figure out how to how to use this tool here and make beautiful sounds with it. So. Uh, again, I'm not trying to play a whole lot of um, uh, music per se and mimic other other artists' uh, art. I'm just trying to bond with this thing, figure out how to kind of crawl around it, um, kind of move around a little bit without sounding, you know, completely trash. <laughs> I want to, you know, just kind of move around it, right? There's 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 many stages to to everything. You got to walk, then. Or you got to crawl, then walk, then jog, then run, then sprint. So I'm just trying to crawl around on this thing. So we'll see how good we get at the end of the 100 days. It'd be cool to reflect back on. So that's why I'm so stoked that I actually started making these uh, videos because it allows me to, you know, very easily just go back and look at videos one, two, three, or four. And, you know, look at those compared to these, see how I sound. So anyways, though. I just wanted to uh, thank you all again for joining my journey. If you're into you know music, things like that, uh, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into some, some some tips, some practice exercises, and yeah, let's just have some fun. You could tell by the uh, the video uh, or the thumbnail and the title of this video that uh, we'd be getting into some you know chord progressions and strumming and things like that during this video. So I'm starting to kind of wrap my head around you know how to figure out what a chord progression is and, you know, how to figure out, you know, if you're in the key of C or key of A, you know, how to figure out, you know, what those different chord progressions are. You know, if it's a one, five, uh, six, four, or, a you know, six, four, one, five chord progression, like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I had no idea, uh, you know, weeks ago, days ago, uh, whatever. So I just want to keep, uh, building in that repetition, you know, just cause, you know, you get it and it's kind of in your brain doesn't mean it's going to stay in your brain forever unless you rep it out hundreds of times, thousands of times. So that's what I'm going to work on here today. Just uh, repping out some of these um, chord progressions. And uh, from what I've heard and been kind of studying up on is that the key of C and the key of G are some of the more common uh, keys to kind of play in. So I would like to start with the uh, key of C and we'll do um, some chord progressions. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the one, five, six, four chord progression. All right, we're gonna do it in the key of C. So if you're trying to figure out what the, you know, how, what is that? What does that mean? Okay, so you get the one, five, six, four. So you have four, four different chords uh, that didn't need, need to be played, right? You get one, five, six, four, four chords. Okay, now if you're in the key of C, how do you figure out what that is? Okay, well, you need your one, so that's your root. So if you're in key of C, that's a C, right? And you need your five. So how do you figure out what the five is? Okay, well, you have your C, and you just go in the musical alphabet, D, E, F, G. So now you have C, G, okay? Now you need to figure out what your six is. Okay, well, if five is G, six would be wrap it back around to A. So now you have... G, C, A. Now you need to figure out what your four is. Okay, how do you figure out what the four is? Again, start with C, since that's the key that we're in. If C, D, E, F. So there you go. You have C, G, A, F. That's your one, five, six, four 
chord progression in the key of C major. If you wanted to go to C minor, you would take that six. If there's ever a um, two, six, or seven involved in the chord progression, you can take that two, six, or seven, make it flat, and there you go. You have your minor chord progression. Let's go ahead and play around with that chord progression. So you have one, five, six, four, C, G, A, F. Starting with all downstrokes, something kind of simple. Still got a runny nose from that uh, sickness I'm trying to overcome. Still feel like I got a little mucus in the throat, a little, little golf ball in there that just won't go away, man. I've been trying to gargle uh, uh, warm salt water, um, taking little shots of ACV, apple cider vinegar. Um, Drinking a whole bunch of tea just won't go away. One, five, six, four. T of C. switch up the little strumming patterns so that way it's a little bit more interesting just want to start with some downstrokes just to kind of get loosened up but now let's go into a strumming pattern let's do down down up up down As you can hear and tell, my transitions still aren't super smooth. So that's why I do these videos. And sometimes it might look like I'm doing you know similar topics of conversation, but I am really doing different things in those uh, videos. So make sure you check out those other videos. Um, but also nonetheless, it just takes a lot of repetition, right? You can't just rep something out 14 times and think that you're golden. You'll, you'll be golden at a F to G transition if you do it 14 times no you gotta do it like 1400 times <laughs> so Also, just real quick, uh, the pinned comment section below, or well, the comment section and the one that I make pinned, uh, always has like a, a layout of the notes for whatever topic of conversation we're having that day uh, for that hour practice session. So make sure you check out the pinned comment 
and you can steal those notes if you'd like, you know, copy it, paste it into your own, you know, Excel spreadsheet or Word document or whatever. But since today's topic of conversation is chord progression and strumming, I'll have, you know, a couple chord progressions laid out. I'll have some strumming patterns laid out so that way you can kind of see them visually, right? Since these are all live recordings, you know, I can't, I'm not doing the cool graphics and editing right now. That's, you know, some other, you know, projects I'm working on on the side. So stay tuned. You might want to subscribe to the channel so that way you can, uh, you know, easily find my content in the future. So that way you can see those types of videos. But with this being straight live videos, make sure you check out that pinned comment section below so that way you get the notes. All right, so that's the C C major uh, chord progression. If, remember, if I want to make that a minor, I just take the six and make that a flat. So the six is an A, so it'd become an A minor. So it'd be instead of C G A F, it'd be C G. Uh, you on there? C G A minor F. So. Think of another uh, chord progression and strumming pattern. Let's do um, chord progression in the G major, still going to be the one, five, six, four, but we'll do it in the G, key of G this time. Okay, so you got one, five, six, four. You, know, you got your G, obviously that's, that's your root, so your one is G. Your five, so you have G, A, B, C, D. So you have your D, G, D. Okay, now you need your six, that would be your E, then you need your four, so G, A, B, C. So you have G, D, E, C, G, D, E, C. What strumming pattern do I want to do this time? Up, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up.
Yeah, it's a tough one. Order there. It's supposed to be GD, not GE. Let me uh, fix that. Double back. Let's uh, do a different strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down. up one of one of the other of course
Again, just practicing these various chord progressions. One that we're working on right now is the one, five, six, four chord progression. Again, in the uh, pinned comment section below, I leave a lot of notes there. I've watched <laughs> quite a few YouTube videos and when YouTube videos, you know, maybe aren't making certain uh, certain amounts of sense up here and light bulbs aren't going off, I'll also go and just kind of read articles as well. So that way I can kind of teach myself and really understand what's going on here. So in my research, I've found, you know, certain chord progressions to be just super, super common. So I don't know, watched 50 YouTube videos, 100 YouTube videos, whatever, and just wrote down anytime someone would say that there's a popular chord progression, I'd write it down. And well, when I mesh all of these, you know, various people's uh, videos together and what they claim to be some of the most popular ones, I've made a, a, a list that seemed to uh, be talked about most often. So again, in the pinned comment section below, I'll list out what some of these most common chord progressions are, uh, so that way you can choose whatever key you want to play it in. Um, but, you know, at least you'll have common ones rather than making up your own chord progression and, you know, maybe it's not a super common one that's out, that's used out there in the world, you know, in country or pop, pop music and, you know, radio jams and things like that. So check out that pinned comment. It always has a list of, uh, list of today's notes. So make sure you check that out. Right now, first we did uh, the key of C. Now we're on the key of G with the one, five, six, four pattern. And then I'm just picking a, a strumming pattern as well, so that way the strumming isn't so random. Uh, I just pick a strumming pattern, and those will also be listed in the pinned comment uh, section below. Some you know pretty common uh, strumming patterns that you can choose from. smack I need to figure out how to do the smacks a little bit better uh, so until I figure out how to do that I'm just gonna stick with a different strumming pattern
right, all right. We're about halfway through now, so I just wanted to remind you guys that if you haven't subscribed, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That would always be appreciated. I like to see my you know subscribers going up, so that way hopefully one day I can you know, monetize the YouTube channel. So your subscription would be a blessing. Also, if you want to comment below, you know, let me know what you think of the video, what you think of the sound, the looks, the aesthetics, you know, whatever you want. That would be that would be a blessing. I'm always sure to uh, read all of them and respond accordingly. So please, you know, that was a big reason of starting the YouTube channel was, you know, to hopefully meet some friends that are interested in similar topics of conversation, you know, guitar, music, whatever, you know, the video is about. So please leave a comment below. I'd love to meet you and, uh, you know, respond and we can, you know, learn and go back and forth and, you know, grow together. So I'd appreciate your comments below. And then also, if you can smash that like button, that would be much appreciated. So you already came this far. You're already watching this. You know, if I'm a friend of yours, please just go ahead and smash that like button. Anyways, just want to get that little plug in out of the way since we're about halfway through the video. So now that we're done with that, though, a little quick plug. Let's get back into the real reason we're here, and that's to play guitar. So this whole video is about, you know, chord progressions and strumming techniques and strumming patterns. So the first uh, half of the video, we was working in the key of C and G on the one, five, six, four chord progression. And now we're going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to go to a six, four, one, five chord progression. So another uh, very popular one that I saw a lot of other uh, people talking about. So again, I wanted to write down some of the most common ones. So I'll leave a list of those. Mm, get a little tired up here. Uh, <laughs> again, I'll leave a list of those, you know, famous popular chord progressions and strumming patterns all down in the pinned comment so make sure you check that out but uh, now we're going to switch gears into a six four one five so okay six four one five we'll go back to the key of c you try to ask yourself okay well what's the six four one five chord progression in the key of c how do i figure out what that is okay well you have six four one five so you have four different chords that you have to play and again, you don't have to just play the C like this every single time. You, know, you can play C, you know, in different spots. Um, you know, here you go. So you can really play these chords wherever. It's just I'm the most familiar with them here. But you can use the cage chords that we've been learning, um, you know, whatever you would like. So, uh, again, so the six, four, one, five, all right? So you need your six. You're in the key of C. How do you figure out what the six is? Okay, we have C, A, or not C, A. You go in the musical uh, alphabet. I keep yawning, so my apologies. I've been uh, having a little sickness and a sore throat, so I've been taking a bunch of medicines. I think those medicines are kicking in and making me a little sleepy. <laughs> I know the last few nights I haven't slept very well, so hopefully uh, tonight's nightfall. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep kind of decent. But anyways, how do you figure out you know what the six four one five is in the in the key of C? All right, well you have your C, and what's the next letters of the uh, musical alphabet? D E F G A. So your first is an A. Okay, then you need your four C D E F. Okay, so now you have a F. Then you need your one. That's obviously a C if you're in the key of C. If you're in the key of G, your one would be a G. If you're in the key of D, your one would be a D. See, see how that works? So, and then lastly, you need your five. So you need your C, D, E, F, G. So you have A, F, C, G is your six, four, one, five chord progression. And actually, if you actually look at the I cannot stop yawning. <laughs> if you look at the chord progression we did in the first half of the video, it was a one five six four pattern. Well, another very very common one is a six four one five pattern. And if you actually look at that, it's not in any different order. It's just you know moved down the line. So really, you're not even practicing a different chord progression per se. I mean, you are right, but it's still the same thing. It's still one five six four. It's just six, four, one, five. So it's still in the same order. 
right? It's not like you're adding in like a, a two or a seven or a three or mixing the one and the five or mixing the six and the four. So no, it's still in the same order. You're just starting in a different spot. You're starting with the six instead and you're starting with the A rather than starting with the C, for example. So starting with the six, we have A, F, C, G. Playing around with the 6415 pattern in the key of C. That makes it an A, F, C, G chord progression. Let's pick a different strumming pattern just to kind of mix things up. Uh, let's go back to the. You can tell by my videos, I don't like to sit still. 
I, I don't watch a whole lot of movies. I don't sit still very well at all. So I'm constantly rocking, bobbing, moving forward, moving backwards. And that can kind of make it a little bit more difficult to play. But hey, I don't sit still. So. Six four one five. See, even though you repeat it, you know, all these times, you still kind of get mixed up because I start thinking about what I'm going to say. I start thinking about, you know, what might be coming up in like a couple more minutes. I start, you know, it just gets mixed up. So until you rep these things out thousands of times and really make it just muscle memory where you don't even have to think about it. That's when things really get smooth. It's just like, uh, and maybe, uh, I don't know let's say like self-defense class or jujitsu class or whatever, you know, you kind of learn how to do an arm bar, you know, and you understand what to do, but until you drill it with a partner, you know, hundreds of times, thousands of times, you'll never ever really get that off in like a real competition or a real fight. So it just takes a lot of repetition and that's what I'm getting on here and uh, holding myself accountable and doing. So just getting on here, repping things out for the world to see how, uh, <laughs> how much of a novice beginner I am. Let's go have this instrument and this tool. Go ahead and switch it up just a little bit. Now we'll do the six four one five in the key of G, right? So the reason I do C and G and not you know D F or whatever, no real reason except for when I was doing a lot of my research, I heard you know quite a few people saying that C and G are some more of the common uh, keys that people play in. So if those are some of the more common ones, then I'd like to start there. Of course, I will go and learn uh, the D chord progressions and the E chord progressions and the B chord progressions and things like that. But heck, those will come later. If these are the more common ones, let's start with some more common ones. So now let's do the six, four, one, five chord progression, but rather being in C, we'll move over to G. So again, let me teach you how to kind of understand it if you haven't kind of figured it out yet. But if you're in the key of G, you need your six, four, one, five. So if you need your G, uh, or if you need your six, you start with G, A, B, C, D, E. So that's E, and you need your four. G, A, B, C. So you have your C, so it's E, C so far. Now you need your one while well, you're in the key of G, so of course it's a G. So now you have E, C, G. Lastly, you need your five. So you need your G, A, B, C, D. Boom. E, C, G, D. That's your chord progression for the 6, 4, 1, 5 in the key of G. So now let's rep that out just to make sure we get, you know, some repetition in there. So E, C, G, D. GD, not ECDG. So let's restart that. E, C, G, D. 
tutti. Ripping that out. We're in the 6415 key of G. Actually, I think I'm going to lower this just a tad. Lower, 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 lower. And pull up this stool here so that way I can sit down. And come a little closer. There we go. There we go. So that way I'm sitting down a little bit. It's different to play sitting down and standing up. So if you're used to one or the other, make sure you switch it up. So that way you're kind of getting that feeling for both. Mm. All right, six, four, one, five, key of G equals E, C, G, D. ECGD.
one different strumming pattern. I'm getting tired of hearing that same old sound. <laughs> let's see, let's see. What other strumming patterns do I have? Let's go back to that up, down, up one. That one's kind of a weird one. Get a little swig of my water here, just real quick. Mm. Excuse my little sickly nose there. All right, let's get back into the chord progressions. Remember the first ones, the beginning of the video, we did the one, five, six, four pattern. We messed around in the key of C and the key of G. And now the second half of this video, we've kind of switched gears just a little bit. It's a very, very similar chord progression. Just kind of moves, moves forward to and starts with the six rather than the one. And this is the six, four, one, five chord progression. We played around in the key of C there for a little bit again. And now we're back to the key of G. So for the key of G, it's E, C, G, D. And again, I'll provide all that stuff down below in the pinned comment. So make sure you check that out always in all my videos. The pinned comment has a list of notes that you can take and you can copy and paste and have them for yourself for your daily exercises as well. And that way you can learn and understand. Okay, so 6415, key of G. E, C, G, D. loose hairs on my head are itching my face and stuff here soon i've had this hair for uh august 2019 yeah shortly before um 
uh, COVID started, uh, August of 2019, um, was my last like buzz cut. I used to have like a fade. So ever since then though, uh, just been letting it grow. So I think I'm about ready to cut it off here soon. But once I do, I want to donate it. So I'm going to find an organization that I can donate to, to a little kid or, you know, a cancer patient or something like that. So I think that'd be pretty cool. There's people out there that need it. So there's also things that go towards, um, there's organizations that go towards, you know, making wigs. There's also organizations that go towards just, you know, making, um, I think they like sop up oil and things like that. So there's many different things that our hair can be used for. So I've had it this long rather than just cutting it off and throw it in the trash can. I'd rather, you know, give it to somebody that can use it that would want it, right? Uh, anyways, got sidetracked. This tickling hair. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stop there. These are uh, Canadian wildfires that are happening up north of us and our friendly neighbors up there. I hope everything goes well. Hope, uh, you know, nothing too catastrophic happens. Hope too many people don't get sick or even worse, you know, you know, have any uh, fatalities uh, with humans or animals. I hope all that gets uh, settled out quick. But I know even down here in the Midwest, you know, I can feel, you know, my throat's kind of having some after effects from it. So. Hopefully all that gets settled out quick and uh, we can all get back to normal living of life there. But uh, yeah, my prayers going up to uh, the people up in Canada and the ones that are even being affected here in our home country of the United States. So, but anyways, I can feel it affecting me. I'm a little sick. I'm a little tired and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one uh, a wrap for today. That's day 84 now in the books. I continue to lay those bricks towards something great. I do feel, although I'm a little groggy and tired today, uh, I do feel myself getting more comfortable with this thing. I, I am having fun with it. So uh, that that's great. Today is day 84. You know, we'll just keep laying those bricks until we get to uh, day 100, hour 100, and complete this project and complete this challenge. So thank you all for sticking with me. I greatly do appreciate that. It's always a blessing to have you guys tune in. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That would be a blessing to see my uh, subscriptions going up. Also, if you could uh, leave a comment of your own below. Uh, that would be much appreciated. I'm sure to read all of them and see them and uh, respond accordingly. And uh, I hope to meet some friends in the comment section. So please leave your comment down below. And also just go ahead and smash that like button just to help a friend out. Also, if you'd like, go ahead and share this video or any of my videos uh, for that matter to other people trying to learn the guitar. Uh, just to show, you know, that there are real struggles from other pe uh, people that have uh, first started trying to pick up this as an instrument. So anyways other than that uh i'd just like to say i think there's actually probably some floating 
videos on the screen now. So if you want to click this one, this would be the entire catalog of the 100 videos I'm building. This one over here is a subsequent video in the series. So until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I love you. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for everything. Peace.